The story so far. In Quarry Crest, Tressa met a fellow merchant named Ali. He told her of the merchant's fair in Grandport, where the greatest treasures in the realm are put to auction. And so Tressa vowed to find a worthy treasure, hoping to prove herself a merchant worthy of respect and renown. So it was that the two promised to reunite at the fair. It's about time I updated the notebook. I entitle it The Notebook. <laughs> Not to be confused with the film The Notebook. I've come to Victor's Hollow to find things. It shall be great. Mm. All right. It's time I had a look around this place. And also, reposition this mic as loudly as possible. I'm sorry, I'm, I constantly shift in my chair, oh, so I have to constantly fix it. You could say, Casey, how about you don't do that? And to you I say, probably, you're probably right, but no. Oops. For some reason I thought I had control for no reason. What's this? Excuse me, could you tell me about this map? Hmm. That old thing? Hmm. Don't really know where it came from. Found it in the storehouse and thought about throwing it out at first. But I figured I could make at least a few leaves off it. You know. Would probably work. Oh? Mind if I take a closer look? Hmm, there are traces of old lines where it was redrawn, and it smells of the sea. From the looks of it, this map was very special to the one who drew it. Oh. I think there's something written here. The characters are strange, though. Hmm. Well, I'll be darned if you can read those scribbles. My dearest friend, here lies my most precious treasure, Baltazar. Oh! Baltazar? As in, the dread pirate Baltazar of the Eastern Seas? And this is his treasure map? Yes. Yes, it, it, yes. Yeah, it, it seems to be that way. Must be worth a fortune. Give me that. <laughs> Lady Luck is on my side today. Now let's keep this between us, young lady. Here, even give you some candy. Here, a dum dum, you dum dum. Uh. Hmm. But I ain't come here for candy. Tressa, whatever could this tr pirate treasure be? Not sure, but I'd love to find out. Wouldn't it be amazing putting your faith in that ancient map? Sailing the seas, braving the tempests and the storms. Oh yes, what an adventure that would be. Why, just imagining it has my heart all aflutter. Ophelia, so you have the spirit of adventure in you too? I certainly do. Oh, how I yearn for the romance of the open seas. When I was just a small lass, I'd often watch the boys playing at pirates. Oh, I used to do it too. Captain Tressa, Scourge of the Seas. Don't you know it? My motto was another day. Another coochie. <laughs> 
Oh man. Oh man, I'm so tired. Well then, let's see what's next. Phew, time for a break. Here I thought there was gonna be voice acting, but no, they only paid for one line. I guess I'll read it again. In this world, there are countless treasures, but only one is precious to me, and I'll journey on until I find it. Huh. Only had one true treasure. Hello there. Huh. Hello. Good to see you making use of that notebook. <laughs> we meet again, lass. Mr. Leon! Why, why are you here? Should ask you the same. Don't tell me you ran away from home. <laughs> Not quite. I just did it without permission. And I have the notebook. Not to be confused with the film, The oh. Notebook. Oh, thank yourself for choosing it. Oh god, are those the same pirates? They have their names that has... Oh my god. Hello. What? It's Nick and Mac. You ninny? No, it's, it's Mick and Mac, actually. And that kid will give us a quite the lashing back in Dripple Slime. Uh. It's Ripple Tide. Didn't you two learn your lesson? Mick. Mac. That's quite enough. Captain. Oh, fuck. Captain. A pirating days of behind us. We'd be working under a different flag. Got that right? That day opened our eyes to the true greatness of Leon Bastral. Now we'd be having the honor of calling him our captain. Whoa! I'm glad to see you two singing a new tune. Well, as am I. I've been doing well under my command, but still have a ways to go. Right you are. Now look alive, you half drunk dodo. There's work to be done. So, lass, how do your travels fare? Well, I... I'm still learning as I go. I want to sell something incredible at the merchant's fair. If I can manage that much, it'll prove just how far I've come. You don't say. Well, there's certainly no better place than the fair for an aspiring merchant like yourself. What exactly is it that you've deemed worthy of the auction? <laughs> uh, I, 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 I'm fucked. <laughs> A yet undiscovered treasure, I see. Then I wish you all the best in your search, lass. By the way, what brings you to Victor's Hollow? It's the home of an old friend. He passed away around this time of year, so I decided to pay him a visit. Oh. Were you too close? Hi. Hi. Baltazar and I were like brothers. Oh. Baltazar! As in that Baltazar? Which Baltazar, lass? The Baltazar who drew the map I found earlier. Could it be? They may just be one and the same. Could you show me where you found it? 
Yes. Follow me. Hey! Hello there. Welcome. Welcome back, young lady. I trust you managed to keep the, you know what, a secret in the meantime. I'm sorry. I, I couldn't. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. What do you mean you couldn't? What do we have here? Pardon the intrusion, but I heard you might possess a map belonging to Baltazar. Who are ye? This is Captain Leon Bastral. Oh! <gasps> oh my fuck! I don't want to believe it, but there's no mistake in that blue spear. I heard all about you and your famous words. And uh, I don't remember them, though. Uh, the strong take while the weak quake. Those are words best forgotten, sir. This is... Do you take me for a fool? I know you're just here to loot my store. <laughs> I can assure you I came for no such reason. I cast aside that lifestyle at least two weeks ago. Hmm, this certainly looks like one of Baltazar's works. Hmm. You really don't plan to steal it, do you? I see. So the rumors of the great pirates Leon and Baltazar being friends really were true. Huh? He sounds different. I beg your pardon. If you two were as close as the stories say, then I'm sure you'd do anything to have this map, am I right? But... However, it's a precious family heirloom, and I can't part with it without recompense. What? Early, he said he was gonna throw. Huh. If you're truly the Leon Pastral, then I'm certain you're well versed in the treasures of the realm. You see... I'm but a lowly merchant, you see. Nothing in comparison to your grandeur. But there is one thing we have in common. The desire for a certain treasure. Have you heard of Edbart's shield? Edbart was a servant of the king of Farian. His defense with the shield was said to be impenetrable. Legend says he used the same shield to protect his liege until the tragic fall of the kingdom. I heard a rumor that it's been spotted in this very town as of late. Curious timing, isn't it? Both a fabled pirate and a fabled treasure in Victor's Hollow at the same time. <laughs> if you happen across it somewhere, Mr. Bestral, I'd be happy to trade it for the map. Uh. How dare he use the map as leverage? It rightfully belonged to Mr. Leon's friend. How dare he do what any normal person would do? <laughs> I'm sorry, but I'm afraid you're mistaken. Till we meet again. Thank you for showing me the map, and my apologies for taking so much of your time. Hey. Are, are you really going to leave without your friend's keepsake? Hi. That map is not mine to take. Now, I shall take my leave. Laugh. Like to celebrate his life with a drink tonight. He says he doesn't need it, but I think a memento like that is best kept in a friend's hands. I'll find a way to get it to him. You said you'd trade the map for the shield, right? 
I'll be back in two... I almost thought that said nipples. I'll be back in two nipples of the night. He's like... Uh, all right, whatever. I, I'll take it. Huh. huh? You really want that map, don't you? I do, for Mr. Leon's sake. I could steal it for you, though. I'd rather you didn't. I can. I can. I can do this. He wants a trade, and he'll have it. That's what I do best. I'll show him who the best merchant around. Well, I see my help's not needed. Though I'd, though I thought I'd act the gallant type, but clearly your lady prefers the leading role. You bet, after all, how could I call myself a real merchant if I refuse this challenge? How indeed. How indeed. Alright, well, I think we should just get on and get on going. Hmm. Actually, where's the tavern? So I had to look it up. Um, I need to go and get Hanit next, which I don't believe I have in my party. Okay. One thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put I'm gonna put this controller that has way too strong a rumble up to my microphone the next time I open a door. Because you guys need to understand how much of a mess this shit is. It's crazy. I'm going to open up this door right here into the item shop. Wait, no. That won't open the door, actually. I need to find a real door. Uh, uh. No, that doesn't count either. Alright, I'm going to have to pop in and pop out. We're doing this just so you understand... That the SNES uh, 8-bit dope pad that I bought. Very good. However, the Switch's obsession with Rumble, a little too much. <laughs> Do you hear that? That shit's weird. This is scary. This is scary. Anyway. Enough delays. We have stuff to go do. Ah, yes. Hoichesis. It's not like even buying something has the same vibration as opening a heavy door. It's funny how that whole shield thing you would think is like some big, long, drawn-out thing. But no, it's something that takes two seconds. Huh. Back so soon? Of course. I made a promise. My word. I can't believe you actually found it. But the symbol, this weight. And all these scars, there's no mistaking it. It's the real deal. That thing is twice the size of her. That's insane. She's like, oh man, I broke my bones trying to get it over here. But however did you manage to get this? <laughs> I'm a merchant. We have our ways. It involves me giving them money. <laughs> Obtaining such a renowned treasure is no small feat. I can see a promise. Lots of it. A shield for a map, is it? What's got you down, Hannet? I was pondering the worth of the shield and the map. Are they truly equal? Uh, it was a nice shield, very sturdy. No loss on the trade? Well, maybe, maybe a little. But as I see it, this old map is very important to Mr. Leon. Greater value to him, then. That's right, one person's trash is another person's treasure. It doesn't matter what price I put on something, it's... 
Well, that doesn't pay the malice. Then it takes two parties to settle a price. I had not considered that. There are depths to the work that I hadn't imagined. Don't you know it? It's great. And some other stuff, you hunt beasts, and I don't know about that. Granted, I don't know because it's stupid. Mr. Leon! I brought something for you. Huh? Baltazar's map. Don't tell me you went through the trouble of finding the shields for that. <laughs> then I won't. But I did. I totally did. <laughs> Thank you, lass. Mr. Leon, were you really okay with just leaving the map? You see... When you gazed at it, your eyes were so forlorn. I felt like it belonged with you. <laughs> your keen eyes never cease to amaze me. Let me tell you a story, lass. About Baltazar and me. We were but lads when the sea first called to us, and as we grew, so did our reputation. Balthazar came to be known as the Wild Eagle, and I the Sea Serpent. Our ships clashed on the open ocean, and our names roared like thunder through the sky. Given us no quarter, sir! Let's turn back! The old girl can't hold on much longer! Anyone wanting to retreat can be my guest and swim back. I'll reduce this ship to shivers before I let him have my treasure! If those scurvy sea dogs get to that island first, we get nothing! You hear? Hold fast! Baltazar, that bastard. You're too slow, Leon. Aye, Captain Marvius. I think he'd have learned after all these years. Enough. Else I'll cut out your tongue and feed it to the gulls. Now I'll be taking this island's treasure if you don't mind. I do mind, but it isn't mine. Do whatever you please. Do ye remember when we were lads, Leon? Starving in the slum, stealing to survive. You dreamt of just growing up and had to fight tooth and nail to reach the top. Nothing was ever easy for us. In this world, the strong take while the weak quake. And we became strong. Ye never change, Leon. You say it like you're any different, Balthazar. Not everyone stays the same forever, matey. Balthazar. He was always looking off into the distance. His eyes gazed far, far away, toward a seemingly unreachable place. Time passed between us until one day. Can I tell you something? I never wanted to be a pirate. What? When we were lads, I... I'm 
to being a merchant. <laughs> Have you gone daft? Balthazar of the Eastern Seas. A merchant. You're a bloody scoundrel for life. But it be the truth. I wanted to trade treasure from every corner of this here world and bring people together. I sight of that dream after becoming a pirate. But these days... All I'd be thinking about. Leo. Do you have something precious to you? Aye, fine storm this is. How about another wager, my friend? Whoever reaches that island first be the winner. If ye win, you get that gem you always wanted. Oh, will I now? And what happens if you win? If I win? Ye hand over your most precious treasure. Deal. That's how our final race began, but Baltazar, he never emerged from those stormy seas. I found his ship several days later, wrecked on the coast. Baltazar had been the victor of our very last match. This map shows the location of the gem he wagered that day. The Eldrite. It's the only one of its kind in the entire world. <gasps> it was by far the rarest of all the treasures he plundered. But seeing as I lost our match, I haven't the rights to it. That's why you left it in the shop. <laughs> Precisely. You made a proper trade for this, lass. So it belongs to you now. However you use it is up to you. Up to me. Mr. Leon lost more than just a race that day. I think having a memento of his friend would cheer him up. And I wouldn't mind getting a closer look at treasure. We're probably just gonna get that treasure and then use it for our big auction thing, right? Probably. Anyway. So they were friends, I see. Hmm? What is it, Tressa? Well, it sounds like Mr. Leon and Baltazar got along so well. If they had worked together as pirates, they would have been unbeatable. So why did they insist on being rivals? 
They have they vied with each other precisely because they admired each other so. When a man of action meets another, his first instinct is to prove himself better. I understand well the hearts of men like Leon. I once felt the same about Earhart. What is it this time? You're a thoughtful one today. The look on your face. It reminded me of Mr. Leon's face when he talked about Balthazar. Is that so? Hmm, if I looked over here, there's another one we could do if we have Cyrus. So let's go ahead and change our party out to uh, bring him in. And uh, apparently the other ones are after we finish, so I can actually organize my party any way I want after that. So we'll hear his banter first before figuring it out. It couldn't be. Eldrite, the Ore of Legend. You know of it? Oh yes, otherwise known as the Eye of the Sea. So beautiful. Men liken it to the Eye of a Goddess. Or so my tones tell me. Never observed an actual specimen with my own eyes, mind you. It is also written that you can see an ocean inside if you peer long enough. A whole ocean? With fish and seaweed and, and boo-boos? Ha <laughs> ha ha! I would be surprised to say the least if the view offered quite so much detail. Truth be told, all the accounts are hearsay. Not one author has claimed to have found one of the stones. Though not for want or effort, it has long been sought after by pirates, kings, and would-be treasure hunters. And me. <laughs> now that's the spirit. All right, we can pick whatever two party members we want, so we should pick the ones that seem best for this role. Uh, off the top of my head, really, um, hmm. We want at least one dancer. So I think we'll do Ulbrich, Ulbrich, and Alfin. I think that works, because that gives us access to two, two merchants. Two merchants, a warrior. Yeah, yeah, we, we gotta get set up if we do it like this. So we will. Let's head toward the forgotten Gurato. Gurato. And here we are. Well, we found a treasure chest embedded in the ground. Seems to be it. Uh oh. Let's do this. It's headed this way. Big. Hmm. Out of my way. I don't like this. He's all like ready to go. Hmm. He also has two turns next turn. Not a fan of that. I should have brought a hunter in to be able to control when he goes. Uh. Hindsight though. Nice. All right, cool. Tell we're able to we're able to get one weakness. Uh, next up, uh, I'm always gonna end up doing thousand spears because you know. Yes, 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 yes. Go with the multi-hitting target ones because you never know when you can just crush someone with that shit. All right, next up, we're gonna do donate BP to Therian. Here we go. And you are going to go and do the Peacock Strut. So, he'll do a 3 BP, supercharged, weak way. to fire, broken attack. It's going to be great. That's the ticket. Good, get, get a good 8,000 damage in there. I forgot you're also a hunter, so we're actually in a good spot. 
I forgot because sometimes you don't expect the hunter to have the cutest little fucking hat. I swear to God, she's perfect. This might hurt a little. Uh, it didn't hurt that much, the to be honest. Is true. Hmm. Cross slash. Eh, that works. Here We've we done go. a good amount of damage so far. Hmm, I should hold the pomegranate. We have to be careful. I feel like this guy has got some bad moves he can do a little bit later. Oh no, he has better defenses. Oh no, he poisoned two people. Victory shall be mine. All right, I'm grateful that I don't take damage for for a counter attack. I was worried about that. Poison, 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 poison. Do we not have anything for poison? Oh shit, we're fucked. That's bad. Use this. I have to tank my poison. Not something I expected to have to deal with, but it's something we have to deal with. Go for it! Okay, it doesn't hurt that much. Okay, this could be worse. This, this could be a lot, lot, lot worse. Peacock spread Therian again, please. There we go. That way he'll be at three. There we go. Let's, do this. Let's have you break it. Alright, very nice. Actually, no. We'll, we'll uh, do Firestorm now and then we'll do a full force attack next turn. How about you? Hmm. We could do hired help, but nah. Thinking about thinking about who could do the best uh, bit of damage here. Not oh, fuck it. Donate BP. One for all. Might as well just have theory and build points as much just. as he can. Physical defense probably matters a good bit. Give it to yourself, you're poisoned. Shucks. Mm. Last stand probably will do a little bit. Okay, not much, but hey, it's something. Victory shall be mine. Use this. Alright, next up. Out of my I'm ready for you! The big shit. Alright, that's another 8k. My turn now. I won't this might hurt a little. Nice. That was 10,000 damage. Alright, he is now at 10. I'm pretty sure they don't scale after 10, so. This is basically his final form. More or less. That's just an assumption. These bosses seem to uh, run under the same nothing. type of mechanics, at least the Chapter 3 ones do, where they end up going up to about 10 defense with whatever extra mechanic. This mechanic seems to just be, I can poison you with attacks, and I go twice. Um, I'm not a fan of either of those, but, you know. Try this. Work with what we got. Work with what we got. What to do? Next up, we're going to do Leg Hold Trap. Right so, he's going to move at the end of the next Victory turn. Shall be mine. And then we're going to use... Uh, we're going to use a Donate BP. Give it to Therian. Alright, next turn, I need to be able to deal 8 Fine. hits. Which I believe I can do. Uh, between these two characters here. We'll do Reina Arrows. And we can do the rest with uh, Thousand Spears. Alright, 
All right, awesome. Bring it on. And you can bring Ethereum's magic back to max. All right, we've got a really good cycle. This guy is not very hard at all. Are you? Ah, this sucks. I can't actually get him at full force. That's that's too bad. Whatever. We'll just do four thousand. Ah, that's a little bit stronger. Huh. How about that? Try this. All right, he's gonna go in. He's gonna hit with a fury in a bit. I have to watch for that. Hmm. Attack with a pole arm and then go. Yeah, why not? Yeah, nice little three K. And then true strike. Alright, he's got to be getting low soon. And peerless poison. The effects of the beast poison extend to. Did that say HP and SP? Yikes! All right, he's on. He's low on health though. His name is in the red. His name is in the red. So that there's at least that. At least we have that part. One. Give him more BP. Out of my way. Let's do this. Fuck it. Okay, I was hoping that would kill. Uh, not in the best mood now. All right, brought him down to five. Shit, we should have like hole trapped. That's that's on me for that. Here goes nothing. All right, Alpha, and try and stay alive. Ugh, I really is pretty, pretty, pretty. Oh, I told you to live, and you did not live. Why did you not live, my friend? Ah, fuck! You didn't kill with that. Okay, I was playing. I was. I was playing that really stupidly, and I'm suffering for it. Stop right there! All right, move him to the back. We need it. We needed to adjust, or we're dead. Need to adjust, or we lose. First stop, jam. Max out HP. Oh my god, that it's almost pointless in a way. Uh, Alpha or Ol Ulbricks, Ulbricks more tanky. Get him up. Nice try. Okay, we dodge. The battle is truly joined. Use this. I'm very uncomfortable right now. Very, very uncomfortable. Oh, we can break him. We can break him. Thank God I looked at the shields. Burn him. Oh man, here we were just falling apart toward the end here. He takes BP? I just realized he's taking BP with that too. Holy shit, what a stupid fight! <laughs> One for all. Alright! Alright, dude! What's up, dude? We're totally gonna try- we're, we're gonna count- We're gonna put everything into this attack. Finish him! There! And that's that. That ended, up, that ended up being a lot closer than expected. Mainly because I didn't have antidotes. In the future, let's get some antidotes. Should probably work on that. Gorgeous. Oh. A letter. Yeah. Addressed to Mr. Leon. I'll make sure it reaches him. All right.
I don't know where to go, guys. Could it be in here? Mr. Leon. I followed the map and found this. Hmm. Huh? There's no mistaking it. This is the Eldrite. This was also in the chest. Mm hmm. A letter. Did you ever find what's most precious to you? Baltazar. Leon, what's more precious to you than anything in the world? Most precious? All my treasures are precious. <laughs> I didn't mean gold or gems, Leon. Then what did you mean? Do you have something so dear to your heart that you'd risk life and limb for it? When we were lads in that poor town, we thought having riches was all there was to life. But I've been wondering lately if that's the life worth living. And then I wonder what life is worth living. I use my strength to steal from the weak. Just like you, Leon. And it took years of looting to realize that none of it meant anything to me. After the final race with Balthazar, I couldn't stop thinking about his last words. If I win, you hand over your most precious treasure. But what was my most precious treasure? In the coming days, I kept asking myself the same question. never came to an answer, until one day, I realized. I'd obtained nothing. Just like Balthazar. I no longer had a reason to continue as a pirate. my flag. And I dedicated myself to repairing Balthazar's ship. I decided to pursue the dream of my friend in his stead. And so, I became the captain of a merchant ship. Huh. I want you to keep that stone, lass.
belong to your friend. This letter is all I need. That stone holds no meaning to me. Are you sure? Everyone has something precious to them. Whether it be land, riches, honor, or what have you, there is an abundance of treasure in this world. But there is only space in one's heart for a single, truly precious treasure. And I found mine. Baltazar's ship. It gave me another chance at life. Mr. Leon? What is your most precious treasure? Find it someday. Aye, with those keen eyes, I have no doubt you will. But be prepared, your life will never be the same after. Mr. Leon again. He taught me that there is only one true treasure in a person's life. I haven't found that treasure in my life yet. But I'll keep searching until I do. It's just a matter of time now. With the Eldrite in hand, I'm ready for the auction. Fair, here I come. How are we still using black hooded characters? Like, how? Thanks. Are you all right? Hey there, Tress. What's with a serious look? Just thinking about what my most precious treasure could be? Tell me, Alfin, what do you treasure the most? Me? Shucks, I'd rather not say. Kinda silly, to be honest. Oh, come now. What do you act so embarrassed about? It's not that, it's just, uh... Besides, I know the answer. It's the bag. You always keep it in your sights and you're cleaning and mending it. You got me. A good pal gave it to me. When I've got it slung over my back, it's like I can hear him whispering in my ear. You brew those potions of yours with pride, you hear, he says. And I listen too. That's why I put so much care into my concoctions. Now that's a true treasure if I've ever heard one. 
All right, let's go and quickly switch so that we have uh, the last little banter that we can have with Tressa's uh, chapter three. Okay, um, b -b -b should be Prem. Lovely. Quite a treasure indeed. Don't I know it? May I see it? Why, it's stunning. When I was younger, I had occasion to set eyes on many a beautiful stone, but I've never seen one of such profound clarity and color. You can say that again. I've never seen this... No, don't repeat it. I must say, its beauty is completely wasted on a child such as yourself. I shall wear it. What? Give me this! Oh, come now, I was joking. Why, I never. Jesting aside, the gem suits you better. I'm lying, but we can pretend. You can see right through it, utterly transparent. Wow, wow, you just out here ruining lives. People out here just getting murdered. Apparently, that's just, that's just what's happening now. I'll say this. Kinda, kinda, kinda fucked up. Just say, just, just a little bit fucked up. Well, anywho, I think we're done here. Next time, we'll leave. I forget, did that count as just the tail ending? Okay. I was making sure that it actually did. But, uh, let's have a look real quick at our journal. And as you can see, everyone's chapter 3 is done, leaving their finales. The only thing left to do. So we'll slowly start going through all of those. I'm looking forward to, uh, how, how everything uh, concludes for each character. We'll get started next time, and I hope to see you then.